Hello students, welcome back to Machining Sciences and Tool Design. We are discussing module number 5 that is design of single point cutting tools. In this video we will be discussing about topic design of shank and tool tip. The extensive application of cemented carbines in, in a single point metal cutting practice has led to introduction of tipper tools. So we have already discussed about uh, tipper tools. So when an insert is either brazed or clamped to the main shank. So this is we have already discussed about uh, inserts being brazed with respect to the solid shank. So this is called this type is called as a in tipper tools. So the carbide tip must so designed so as to ensure the resultant force P. So the load which is coming on to the cutting tool always passes through the next tip in the shank. So that is it has to pass to the next tip to the in the shank and keeps tip in compression. So various tip designs are employed depending upon the processing feed and depth of cut. So these are the criteria on which the load which is coming on to the cutting tool is calculated. So the seat or recess for the tip in the shank may be either open, semi-open, closed or of slot type. So here you can see uh, the different tip styles. Uh, so this one is having an angle of uh, 20 degree and this one is having an angle of 10 degree. And you have other shapes uh, which is used for a tip. So this is another shape which is having an angle of 10 degree and this is also 10 and this one is 20. And you can have a open, semi open, or a slot or a closed type of uh, tool tips. So, this one, with respect to if you cut it here and if you weave it from this, you can see the cross section of it. So, it is open type. And then here, uh, it is semi open type. And then uh, you have a slot inside this. So, that is why it is called slotted. And then closed type. So, these are all different uh, tool tips you can have in the shank. That is uh, seats for a tip in the shank, and then uh, with respect to dimensions in the tool tip. So this is the insert portion, and this is a, a solid tool. I mean, uh, this is the base tool, and this is the insert. And insert is having a, a width of B. Uh, so theta will be of twenty-five to thirty degree, which we have already discussed. So theta is uh, twenty-five to thirty degree. And then G, that is the way from the bottom push position to up to the tool insert positions. So it is distance is called G, which should be higher than or equal to two third of H. Okay, that is uh, G should be two third of H. So that is the entire tool shank uh, position width uh, height, and then uh, the thickness of the tool tip C. Uh, is equal to 2.5 mm to 12 mm. So this thick, this is the thickness of the tool tip, which is uh, 2.5 to 12 mm. And then we have a B by C ratio that is 1.6 to 2.7. So this is uh, B and this is C. So B by C uh, will be equal to 1.6 to 2.7. That is the thickness of the insert. Uh, that is the width of the insert will be uh, 1.6 to 1, 2.7 times of the thickness. And then E that will be equal to G plus B sin theta plus C cos theta, which will be greater than or equal to H. So where H is the tool shank height. So and F is the dimension of a line of the centers of the lathe. So this is a where the line of uh, centers of a lathe so that this distance is called f so we have a different uh, tool cross sections so here uh, if it is circular one we call it as a d denoted by uh, dimension d that is diameter uh, if it is a rectangular it is given by a b and h that is if it is a square similarly for rectangular it is denoted by b and h so we have a different uh, sizes of cutting tool so here we have diameter which is given if it is a circular is 6 similar uh, if it is square it is 6 into 6 uh, if it is a rectangular h into b ratio is given which will if it is 1.25 is to 1 or 1.6 is to 1 or 2 is to 1 this is 6.6 into 5 6 into 4 and 6 into 3 
Similarly, uh, it is up to 63. It is square is 63 into 63. Height to width ratio is 63 into 50, 63 into 40, and 63 into 32. So, what is that load which is coming on to the cutting tool is PZ. That is, uh, it should be a compressive load. And what will be the deflection of the tool tip because of this load is calculated by this equation. That is, 4PZ. PZ is the cutting force. Uh, LE, that is length cube by E B H cube, where E is the Young's modulus of the tool material, B is the breadth and height is H is the height which you have discussed in the previous slide. So E is uh, given for uh, that is for HSS tool it is um, 22 224 kilo newton per mm square and for uh, carbide tool it is uh, 700 kilo newton per mm square or 0.5 uh, mega newton per mm square. For C6 carbide, it is uh, 560 kilonewton per mm square, and TAC and C ceramic carbide, it is 420 kilonewton per mm square. So this is Young's modulus. Depending upon a material, you need to substitute that here and get the what is the tool deflection. So permissible deflection. So whatever value which you get should be range of the shank should be range from 0 0.05 mm in finishing cuts to the 0.1 mm in the roughing cuts. So that is about the design of a tool shank and tool tip. So we'll end this video here. Thank you.